Well, hi everybody. This is going to be a video for everybody at home for this mini magnetism lab. So I'm gonna do the lab and videotape it and you're gonna do all the drawings and the labelings. So, procedure one. Says to place a magnet onto a piece of paper, place a transparency over the magnet, be sure it's level. I might have to do a little leveling. Gently sprinkle iron filings all around it on top and clearly see a pattern and draw the pattern. So I'm not gonna draw them, but there's a magnet right here. I'm gonna show you in just a second. I have one underneath it. You're gonna label north and south, and then I'm gonna sprinkle the iron filings, and this is the area where you're gonna draw, please, in a pencil. All right, so there is my magnet. This is north, this is south. Hopefully you can see the letters. Um, I'm gonna level this up just a little bit so that it's not so floppy. I'm just going to use a pen here and there. You can see me just using a pen just because it's hanging over the middle. All right, so I have a little shaker here. I'm going to take the tape off of it and I'm going to gently sprinkle iron filings all around it. I'm going to be as even as I can. All right, so that is the picture you have to draw. So I'm gonna point out a couple things and then you'll have to pause to see the whole picture if you need more time. So, first of all, you'll notice that it's much darker around this North Pole and this South Pole. The iron filings seem to grab there. You should be able to see this nice curve that's in the picture. And there should be some straight lines. You can almost see these straight lines. So you're gonna use your pencil and you're going to sketch this. So if you need to pause it, please pause it because I'm gonna pick up and get ready for the next part. All right, so I have to take the iron filings up, put them away into their cup here. I'll be doing this a few times. All right, the next part you'll see has these circles. Those circles represent a compass, the way a compass would point. So, I have a little compass, and just so you understand, we're gonna point the way the red. The red points like an arrow. So instead of drawing this actual compass, we're gonna draw the way that the red points. So I'm gonna match the pictures. So I'm gonna start here. That was one of them. The red points away. Maybe zoom in a little. No, I guess not. Get in a little bit. All right, the next position is right about here. You should see the red pointing at an angle away. Okay, the next position is about halfway. So I'm gonna go here. You should definitely see the arrow pointing that way. The next one, is here and again if you if I go too fast you can always rewind me all right see the red arrow pointing straight at the corner the next one is at the end and you can see the red arrow is pointing straight to the end the next position looks to be right about there and again you can see the red arrow pointing this way and then the last one is about here and again, feel free to rewind me and pause me. You can see that it's pointing away. All right, that was procedure one, procedure two. Okay, procedure three says to place the bar magnet so unlike poles are facing. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this one here. I'm gonna have a south here. The north is on the other end. It's off the screen, but label it. And an unlike pole means a north. All right, so you have a north here, south here and then the other ends are the opposite. This is the area I want the picture for anyway so I'm going to put my transparency back on top of it so I don't make a big mess. You can see I left a few on there and there's my pencil. All right so here comes the pattern. We're going to iron, filing, sprinkle. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm really more concerned about the middle. I'm going to fill it up a little bit. All right, so some things to point out. First of all, once again, my picture is going to be darker 
closer to the poles. You should see a nice curve here. And you should see like a connecting bridge in the middle and then more curves over here. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Again, if you need to pause to get the picture, by all means do. Don't forget to label the south and the north. All right, I'm gonna put this away. And I know sometimes you have to do these, you, you, you may definitely have to pause me and go back a couple times and that's totally fine. So I'm gonna put these away. Try not to make a mess. The next one is right here. I have the same setup. So I'm going to have a south here and a north here, which means I have south and north there. I'm gonna put the compass in there. All right, I'm gonna spread them a little bit apart. The first one, I'm gonna do is right in the middle. And you should see that that red arrow is pointing that way. So you would just draw an arrow. Okay, the next one is, I'm gonna do is right here. And you should be able to see that it's not really much different. The arrow is pretty much pointing that way again. All right, the next one I'm gonna do is up here kind of to the right. You should pretty clearly see the arrow pointing that way, the red. And then one over here, about there, that arrow should definitely be pointing towards the magnet. And again, it's just, just make an arrow in the circle. All right, procedure five says place the two bar magnets so like poles are facing. So let me take this out of here. So for this one, procedure five, I'm gonna put two south. So we are on Procedure five, I'm gonna have a south here, a south here, which means there's norths on the very ends, okay? Let's put my little transparency here. I'm gonna use the iron filings once again. I'm gonna sprinkle them. This is a good way to see the magnetic field. You can't really see these things, you can't see fields. Now I want you to notice how I'm trying to put some in the middle, but you might actually see them. They push away. I push them in here and they push away. It's a blank area. All right, so this is what the field looks like. So once again, point out some things. And again, you may have to pause this to actually get the picture. So very dark here. You should see definitely some curving here, some curving here. You can see how this is blank, but you can watch this and this. As they go out, they curve up, they curve up and they meet here. And again, these are all pointing this way. All right, I'm gonna give you a second or two with that picture. And again, if you need to go back and watch again, pause it so you can get it to a good spot, by all means do that, because I want good pictures. Make sure you're using pencil and you're shading dark and light. I'm gonna pick this up. And we're gonna do a similar thing with the compass. Okay, again, very similar. The compass is going to go in those positions roughly. So I'm going to start with the first one right smack in the middle. And you can see that it's pointing that way. The next one comes down to about there. And you can see it's pointing almost straight. The next one looks like it's about here. And you should be able to see, sorry, there's glare. The red is pointing this way. And then here. Again, pretty much the same thing. You can see the red is pointing right at it. All right, so I did this kind of fast and you may have to go back and do a little more pausing on the pictures because it does take a while. The next part is what I asked you guys about at home is to go get that refrigerator magnet Okay, obviously the kids in class are gonna return their bar magnets because they're gonna be doing this in class. And I need you to take your refrigerator magnet and find six things in your house that it will actually stick to that are not necessarily the refrigerator. And then find six things that it will not attract. And then you have some questions. Do not take your magnet near your computer or your cell phone. You might regret that. Okay, so while they're working on this in class, you're going to be working on this and slowing me down, of course, and stilling the pictures and pausing them. But if you have questions, please come on the microphone. All right, good luck.